Hey everyone, quick video concerning an update I made to the NPC spoiler system. As you can see here, I have one selected, this one. We can usually find them in the scene with uh, this yellow gizmo, so I made this to, you know, to make it easier to see them. So NPC spawners, if you're not familiar with them, uh, there is a dedicated video on them. But quickly, what they are is uh, basically points in the world, in your world, uh, where NPCs are going to be spawned. And NPCs can be, of course, you know, mobs, bosses, um, quest giver, merchant, whatever you want. And you choose where they are spawned in the world. So before this update, we could already have a list of um, NPCs, you know. So the list was uh, not limited. You could have as many as you want. But something I was really missing was the ability of um, basically deciding how much chance each NPC on a list has to be spawned. Because before that, we could have, for example, a list of 10 NPCs, but all 10 NPCs had the exact same chance to be spawned every time a random NPC was picked. So this was, you know, okay, but um, having the ability to choose exactly um, the spawn rate of uh, an NPC is much better. So um, the reason for that, basically, a very good use case is uh, the one I have selected here as the wolf. NPC. So this is just, you know, a normal mob, a wolf, and then it has the ferocious wolf. So here you can understand what I'm trying to do is basically uh, this NPC spawner is most of the time spawning a normal wolf. But sometimes if I now um, give some room to the other one, maybe let's say 5%, then I can now have 5% chance to spawn also a ferocious wolf, which is some kind of rare mob, right? Um, and this is working. Uh, with this editor, you know, so when I'm adjusting one value, I can add another NPC, for example, um, and kind of go like that. And you see here, uh, as I'm adjusting those values, it, it is now adjusting the others and giving you more room on uh, what you want them to be. But we'll keep it to uh, two NPC for now. So 50, uh, 95 and 5. Perfect. So now we have 95% um, chance to spawn a wolf and 5% chance to spawn a rare one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this one to manual and go back to the home scene, uh, to the main menu. And I'm going to show you it in action. So um, here we have uh, our spawner. As you can see, there is a wolf here because the other spawners were not on manual. Um, they were on endless. But the reason I made manual for this one is because it can, of course, be changed in runtime also. It's because I can now show you every time I click this button, it's going to spawn a new uh, NPC. And as you can see, so far, we only got a normal wolf. And here we are, uh, clicked a bit too fast, but here we had a precious uh, one. We can recognize them because they are a bit bigger. So let's get another one again. Let's hope we're getting lucky. Here we are. So here we had a ferocious one. So as you can see, you know, very um, rare uh, chance to get a, um, well, I see like there is a knife mesh to be bacon again. <laughs> um, but yeah, very uh, rare chance to have him instead of uh, sauce, uh, other mobs. And that's cool because um, this lets you set up some areas just like I have here. For example, this area is the wolf area. So you most of the time only have wolf, but then sometimes there is some kind of rare wolf spawning and you get better loot and you need him for a quest in the demo actually. So that's it. Pretty much all I wanted to show you for this video. I hope you like it and thank you for watching.